something very interesting has happened this week in the quantum computing industry, and nobody is really talking about it. And so before I tell you what that is, let me give you a little bit of context. So my name is Ari. I'm a quantum hardware engineer at IBM Quantum, and I work on scaling qubit control electronics so we can actually one day build a quantum computer that's actually useful for this world. And quantum computing, specifically quantum computing research and quantum computing industrial research, takes a lot of resources and a lot of money. And so dedicating resources from a big company like IBM or Google or some of the startups out there it requires a lot of capital and it requires a lot of investment in the long term. And so what's interesting that has happened this week is IBM named a new research director. And that new research director was previously the vice president of quantum computing, this guy, Jay Gambetta. And so what happened is the old um, research director was Dario Gill, and he was nominated to serve in the government as Undersecretary for Science and Innovation at the U.S. Department of Energy. And so he left his role as director of IBM Research in favor of this um, kind of more political role. And so it took a little while before IBM actually named a new director of research. And I think it surprised a lot of people that it was Jay Gambetta of quantum computing. So what does this mean and why is this important? So we all know that IBM has been sort of betting, not necessarily betting, but investing in the future of quantum computing because that's how they think that their business is going to thrive. And they say it right here. Many of you know Jay as a leader in quantum computing. However, Jay understands that research succeeds when it delivers value not only to science, but to IBM and our clients. And so this is how IBM, which has been a huge company that has existed for a very long time, is betting on how it is going to continue its future in technology and continue making money. So how, this is how like large companies that are publicly traded work, right? They have um, a vested interest in their stockholders and they want to basically make the shareholders money. That's kind of their obligation is that all the people that hold the stock or who, and who have invested in IBM or any other big company out there, they, th their obligation is to make those people money, right? And so by the board and by the CEO of IBM picking Jay Gambetta, the previous vice president of quantum computing as the new director of research, I think IBM is taking the stance that quantum computing is going to probably be a major moneymaker in the future. Now, of course, that is all speculation. And also, everything that I'm saying here is just my opinion. I actually don't know what went into this decision. I don't think many people at IBM really do. This is just kind of my opinion thinking about it. Ultimately, I think it's a good thing for me and anyone in quantum right now because you have somebody who is leading the research direction and research effort of IBM who has come from a quantum background. And so I think that this is more justification that quantum computing in industry is going to continue to grow. And I think if we want to actually build what I was saying earlier, a quantum computer that's actually useful, we're going to need people to continue to come into the industry. And so I think that this is an indicator that there is no quantum bubble that is about to pop. I think that the investment into quantum is going to continue on for probably at least until 2029 or 2030 when we say we're going to deliver a large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computer and most likely far beyond because IBM is a company that basically plays the long game. They're not like a startup that is trying to you know, acquire value and then get bought out. IBM has been a huge player in technology for many, many years, decades, decades. And they, are con they want to continue to do that. At least everything that uh, you know, we've all seen is pointing towards IBM wants to continue to be a big player, a big stable player in technology. And so when IBM is making this investment in quantum by not only continuing to pour a bunch of research fund into it, but also naming the director of the entirety of IBM research, as Jay Gambetta, somebody from quantum, I think that's an indicator that quantum is going to continue to progress in industry. And so now, today, and probably continuing into the future is a great time to begin to build a career in quantum computing 
and quantum engineering and the kind of things that will help us actually one day realize and build a large scale and fault tolerant quantum computer. So there's a couple of paths, right? There's kind of like the theory, algorithms, applications, kind of more so um, how do you apply a quantum computer to real life pharmaceutical problems or chemistry problems or material science problems. That's one really big area of the industry that we need people. I think another big area of the industry, and this is kind of where I come from, is the engineering aspect of quantum computing. How do we actually physically build the systems that will enable us to have hardware that allows us to run all these applications and chemistry problems and, and physics problems and pharmaceutical simulations, whatever, on a quantum computer? Because if we don't have the hardware that can do that, it doesn't matter how good your theoretical algorithm is or how good your method is. If you cannot run it on any hardware, you're stuck. And so if you're interested in that aspect of it, like how do you actually build a quantum computer that is practically usable for this world? How do you actually build a quantum computer that has enough qubits or has low enough noise? If you're interested in that, that's exactly what this channel is about. And that's exactly what my um, private working group, I have a cohort of people who are, who are focused on building careers as quantum engineers. So if you wanna take a deep dive into actually focusing on building a career in quantum computing, subscribe to this channel, but also check out the top link in the description. That's where I personally help you build your roadmap towards building a career as a quantum engineer. So with that, everyone, long story short, I think quantum is going to continue to be a big thing in industry. Players like IBM, other big companies, and even small companies are receiving so much funding and putting so much funding into quantum research that I think we'll see the industry boom for quite a while. With that, everyone, do good work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.